Hey all, Rusty RV TV, welcome. Check it out. We're on Highway 85. We're heading north. We're kind of skirting along the western end of North Dakota. Just enjoying this beautiful weather before I have to start trucking south. Ooh, pull off. I've been up through here before. Actually, we're going to go up to Teddy Roosevelt National Park, the north unit. We're going to go look for a buffalo. <laughs> Figured it'd be fun to do. Last time I was up through here a couple years ago, it was 2019, and it was just a rain and muddy mess. So I thought, hey, let's revisit this one. Let's check out this view. These are the Badlands of North Dakota. Badlands Panorama. Sandstone clay. Wow, when it rains, it turns muddy. Knocks the hills down. Anyway, we're not quite up to the park yet. But we'll go visit it. Maybe do a drive through. Just enjoy this pretty, pretty day. We're getting up here a ways. We're not that far from Canada. Less than 100 miles from the Canadian border, too. Fire smoke keeps running in and out of here. Almost like a fog. <laughs> okay, straight ahead up there's the National Park. We'll be crossing over uh, the Little Missouri River. Two years ago when I was here, uh, 2019, that river was full with all the rains. This year, uh, North Dakota, they're in their drought. Straight ahead up there, that's the entrance to the park. River's kind of the boundary for it. What a unique area. And after this, it just turns into big old farmland and prairie. Here's the Little Missouri Bridge, River Bridge. There's still water down there, even with the drought. Okay, the entrance should be right up here. Here it is, Theodore Roosevelt National Park, the North Unit. Truthfully, I like this one a m whole bunch better than that South one. That South one is so packed. Of course, you got, you know, the Cowboy Hall of Fame, everything down there. Wasn't that cool to see down there at South Unit? This one's kind of up by itself. This is where all the buffalo roam. These are fee-based. Doesn't look like it's open, no. Nope. It says check-in visitor center. But I got the senior pass. And I use this thing all the time. What a great investment. For $80, for what, the last three, four years, I've been able to get in every single national park no cost. It's good for discounts of camping. If you're over 62, make sure you apply for one. Just get it. They are well worth it if you're out traveling. Alright, let's head on in. 
There's a campground back in here. We'll check that out too. Go back in here quite a ways. It's not the biggest national park. This section of it anyway. The last time I was here, we seen some buffalo. That's the goal. We got to find a buffalo. <laughs> Only going to be up here for, what, two, three more days and we're going to start heading south. Going to gear up and start trucking south. Here's a camper priding back to the campground. It was uh, primitive, no hookups or anything. We'll drive through it. Actually, there's an overlook. A couple of them we'll stop at. Check those. Hit the, hit the campground. Hope we find a buffalo. Okay, I remember this now. Okay, off to the right. We're going to stop this little pole out here. They got these rocks that look like cannonballs. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, right where this guy's turning. That's the campground. We'll come back to that. Let's go explore first. Alright, let me get parked. Buckhorn Trail. Now these things are cool. Look at the boulders. Big rocks stuck in that uh, clay soil. And as the rains hit, they keep washing down. They got hiking trails. This park is loaded. Look at them things. It's stuck in there. Probably millions of years ago. Aren't those cool looking? <laughs> Alright, well let's head on back. There's a couple overlooks up here. Everything nice and green. Up in here is where I seen the buffalo too. Oh look at that. I got that one blocked off, darn it. Alright, we'll keep trucking. You know with winter times here, winters are brutal. They got a short window to do their road repair, I'm sure. Wow, look at this. They had a hill slide. Look at that. Slid across the road. So that clay, that's pretty loose stuff. Heavy rains, it probably really slides. Well, shouldn't be too much farther. Now there's a nice ride. Cruise around your convertible. <laughs> Perfect North Dakota summer day. Getting up near the top. We should be close. Pretty good view from up here too. Look at all the people up here. Still not as bad as that south unit, though. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll just sneak a little parking place in front of this car. Let's go for a walk. What's 
name of this one? River Bend Overlook. There it is. Then look at the trails. Look at 4.1 miles. 4.6 miles. Difficult. <laughs> the other one's moderate. So if you're a hiker, oh yeah. You can definitely put on the hiking boots and go truck around. Who knows what you'd see? Probably some of them buffalo, blackhorn sheep, whatever else is up here. But I kind of remember this. This is a great view from up here. Hiking 4.1 miles. I don't know if I could do that much anymore. If it was flat. <laughs> Doesn't look very flat. Here we go. Here's our overlook. See what it says here. A view that launched a park. Wow. Teddy Roosevelt stood right here looked out and said we're gonna save it yeah. rebuilding a nation building a park like a little pavilion down there there it is a good exercise going up that way. what a pretty pretty view here There's the Little Missouri River down there. Pretty much dried up right now. Well, there a couple miles up the road, there's another one. We'll go up there. We haven't seen a buffalo yet though. Oh no. <laughs> Where the buffalo roam? We gotta find at least one. There's part of their hiking trails. Green grass with badland rock formations. Cliffs. Pretty cool with the colors of the soil too. All the reds and the gray. Oh, look, look. Look, yay. We found one, a buffalo. He ain't got no hide left. <laughs> Let the dust come off of him when he wags his tail. Goodness. My goodness. See what he's going to do. There you go. No, I'm not going to get out and pet him. <laughs> or take a picture. There's all kinds of warning signs. Do not approach the buffalo. Pretty good life here. They're well protected. So they must lose their part of their hide, maybe? I don't know. Do they shed it? I don't know. Don't know much about it. The guy's pretty powerful looking. Normally there's a few more. There he is. Huh. Those guys taking pictures. <laughs> Fun. Cool. We found one. Yay. All right. Well, let's keep going. I think there's one more overlook up here. We're getting kind of near the end of the park. Once again, this is not the biggest one. But they got really good access here for sure. 
Here we go, here it is. Let's get a good view here. What's this say? Oh, they're talking about the clay. The blue black popcorn light soil. It's a clay. Clay flows when it's wet. Huh. So every rain, it just keeps eroding. Well, it's going to take a long time to erode all that. Pretty good view from up here, though. That breeze feels good, too. Well, we'll start trucking back. Uh, let's go cruise that campground on our way out of here. But definitely, if you're a hiker, is a great day use park yeah, and you can camp not sure on reservations you really got to check that recreation.gov they give you all the info on all of the campsites and all of the parks pretty good resource anymore they're really improving their website too they even have an app recreation.gov they got an app now I just downloaded that uh, a couple weeks ago Look at the formations. So every rainstorm, it just keeps melting it away. <laughs> Creates all the colors. Absolutely beautiful. Right up here should be the road. This is where we stopped on the way in on the left. All those boulders stuck in that hill there. This is the campground. We'll just do a quick drive through. See what it looks like. Kind of flat down in here. Okay, they got a entrance visitor thing. Doesn't look open. I'm just gonna drive through anyway. You probably register up way up at the main office. Yeah, this is real flat down in here, huh? Pretty big trees, so you'll have shade. There's the campground. And it is fee based. Looks like a big loop. There's a registration. Oh, they got a camp post. Good. I'd like to be a host of one of these things, huh? Looking at the phone, and you got one bar of cell signal. It looks like little campsites, both sides. Goes back in there, trash bins, picnic tables. I imagine you could have a fire here. It'll let you know if you can't. Anyway, this is what uh, campsite is at the uh, Theodore Roosevelt North Unit National Park. Looks like a lot of empties. But I'd still check online, make sure you don't need a reservation. 
that motorhome there was nestled in there pretty good. So at least you got some shade. No power, but you got the vaulted toilets. And we're a ways from any town. I guess Watford City would be the closest big town to here. That'd probably be, what, 20 miles away? Another camper in there. Pretty cool. All right. Good little look. Well, too bad we didn't see more buffalo, but we caught a good one. He wanted to be on camera. <laughs> Imagine all the pictures taken of those animals. Thousands to who knows how many. I'd say right there in the left that those buildings where you probably register to camp. Pay your fees. Big old semi coming in here. Huh. Cool. All right, make a left. We're gonna keep going north. So long, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Journey continues. Talk soon.